Most times, the price of progress takes its toll in nature. Included among man-made natural disasters are oil spills in the ocean. Cleanup of these pollutants are expensive when using high-technology implements. Who would have thought that by using natural and repurposed materials such as dried patola, oh my gosh, patola, masarap yun sa sabaw, di ba? Pero may iba pa pala siyang gamit. Dried patola, coconut husk, Arduino modules, and PVC pipes, one could actually develop an oil spill cleanup device. Amazing! Franklin Razon of Bansud National High School in Oriental Mindoro developed a prototype controlled by a smartphone via Bluetooth that is designed to float and retrieve oil from water. Exciting! My gosh! Let's watch this video to learn more. For coastal communities in Oriental Mindoro, the seas offer abundant resources. But oil spills from passing vessels threaten the waters around the island and the livelihood of the fisher folks. I've witnessed two oil spills in my province, one in Calapan City and one in Panamalayan Oriental Mindoro. The fishermen could not go fishing kapag po may oil spill appearance po sa kanilang locality. Ako po si Franklin Razon. Ang study ko po ay tungkol sa pag-create ng device na makatutulong as response sa oil spill. Franklin came from a family of farmers. He observed that the vegetable patola rots quickly. But like coconut husks, dried patola fibers are efficient in absorbing oil. Franklin integrated dried patola and coconut fibers into a device that can be used to efficiently clear up oil spills. Nakaset po siya to recover one liter po ng oil. Kaya niya po mag-maintain ng connectivity up to 50 meters po. This device is controlled by a smartphone via Bluetooth and powered by solar cells. It also can work for long hours on open water. Franklin had to be resourceful to complete other parts of the device. Despite the scarcity of the materials, I repurposed materials po available sa community po po. Instead of using yung mga expensive materials po na floaters, I just use repurposed PVC pipes para po mapalutang siya. Representing Mimaropa's Regional Science High School, his project won one of the top awards during the Department of Education's 2020 National Science and Technology Fair and was among the Philippine entries to the 2020 International Science and Engineering Fair. Diving deep into his community's problem and creating this device inspired Franklin to be a champion of reinventing agriculture and aquaculture. I am already stepping up, starting from my from the municipalities po in Oriental Mindoro, para po sila ay maging aware na may ganito pong existing technologies at magamit na po nila ito. We must not let sectors like agriculture and aquaculture be left behind. Gosh, I am amazed. Grabe, galing ni Franklin. At this time, we would like to call on the General Manager and Trustee of Gokongwei Brothers Foundation, Ms. Liza Gokongwei Cheng, to confer the GBF Young Scientist Award on our first awardee, Franklin Razon. We confer the Gokongwei Brothers Foundation Young Scientist Award upon Franklin Razon of Bansud National High School. Regional Science High School for Mimaropa. Congratulations, Franklin. Yeah. Grabe, congratulations, Franklin. Alam mo, palagi akong nasa Bansu, dyan sa lugar ninyo, sa Oriental Mindoro. Kaya alam ko yung hard work na ginagawa ng mga tao dyan. Saludo kami sa'yo, Franklin. Well done. Thank well you, done. Well done. Alam mo, pakiramdam ko, iba na ngayon ang tingin ko sa patolo tsaka coconut husk. Eh. Lagi kitang maaalala ngayon. Galing, galing. Um, Thank you po. So, congratulations again, Franklin. Sa lahat ng mga nanonood sa kanilang tahanan, iparamdam po ninyo ang inyong tuwa at paghanga sa ating awardees. Paulanan na po natin ng emoticons yung ating screen at pwede rin po kayong mag-type ng inyong comments sa chat box o kaya mag-iwan po kayo ng mga comments or tanong. Sir. At least 7 million motorcycles ply the streets in the Philippines. 
In Metro Manila alone, motorcycles figured in over 31,000 road incidents in 2019. May isa po kaming teacher. He passed away po dahil po na aksidente siya. He was riding a motorcycle. Sa Kaloocan po kasi, dito bandang Novaliches, madaming mga motorcycles. This motivated us to create a study. Ako si Thea Lumabi. Ako si Adonai Ramdi Balagtas. At ako si Chloe Heather B. Aliano. Kami ang Team Abante. During their senior year at Kaloocan Ka National Science and Technology High School, they invented Abante, an engine control and a helmet programmed to have driver protection features. The engine control is installed in a motorcycle, while the helmet, equipped with sensors, serves as a remote. So the sense niya po, if the rider is wearing the helmet, hindi po mag open yung mismong motorcycle if hindi talaga sakot yung mismong helmet. Other features include a fingerprint sensor, an alcohol sensor, and a collision sensor. When the sensors detect alcohol or an impact, the system will send an automated text message to the rider's emergency contact. Yung big problem po sa amin bago po kami nag-start is hindi po kami maalam dun sa mismong language, sa C++ and Arduino, everything. Ang tanging alam lang po namin is paano mag-YouTube, paano manood ng mga videos, kung paano namin magagawa yung project na yun. Their advisor and friends from their robotics club were of big help. When we bought the parts po, hindi po namin maiwasan na makasira. Sobrang bigat po sa, sa bulsa namin. Also rin po sa mga ano, kasama po namin robotics that they lend us tools and materials na kailangan din po namin. Their project won one of the top awards in the Department of Education's 2020 National Science and Technology Fair and was one of the Philippines' entries to the 2020 International Science and Engineering Fair. They have applied for a patent as they envision their device to be used by motorcycle manufacturers and the government to promote road safety. Beyond creating a unique and useful device, these young scientists realize the value of respect and cooperation. If we continue to boost ourselves, hindi lang isa yung magbe-benefit but all of the people. Sa society po kasi natin ngayon, ang goal po kasi natin is ano yung makukuha kung mag-individually, which is dapat ang goal po natin is ano yung makukuha ng mismong society natin. All right, nako. Isad nako, meron na naman tayong nakaw nakaka nakakabilib na mga ng mga estudyante mula naman sa Kaluokan. Just to recap yung ginawa nila, talagang kakaiba rin ito kasi related naman ito dun sa mga motorcycles, ganyan, di ba? So palakpakan po natin ang ating student researchers Chloe Heather Eliano, Adonairam Balagtas, and Thea Marie Lumabi of Kaluokan National Science and Technology High School. They invented Abante, which is an anti-theft engine control, alcohol sensing, and accident preventive helmet. Congratulations, guys. Galeng, galeng, galeng. At this point, we'd like to call on the general manager of GBF, Ms. Liza, to confer the GBF Young Scientist Award on our second batch of awardees. We confer the Gokongwe Brothers Foundation Young Scientist Award upon Chloe Heather Eliano, Adonai Ram Balagtas, and Thea Marie Lumabi of Kaloocan National Science and Technology High School. Congratulations. All right. Congratulations, Chloe, Heather, Adonairam, and Thea Marie of Kaloocan National Science and Technology High School. Nako, siguradong makakatulong sa Kaloocan at sa buong Pilipinas, lalo na sa mga urban areas, yung inyong invention na iyan. Great. Great job. Great job. For our next group of YSA awardees, alcohol abuse and its effects on family and society could be the very concern that inspired these three students from Juan R. Liwag Memorial High School. Using fruit flies as their subject, Arabel Santos, Giselle May Libiran, and Juliana Anupol studied the potential of the takip 
alcohol plant. Nako, hindi ko alam itong halaman na to. Ha? Takip kohol plant in possibly reducing alcohol dependency and mitigating the effects of alcoholism. Let's watch this video. Nearly half of Filipinos, nearly half of Filipinos aged 15 to 19 are binge drinkers. Concerned about youth alcoholism, three young scientists from one R. Liwag Memorial High School studied the plant Takip Kuhol's ability to reduce alcohol tolerance, using the common fruit fly as subject. Ako si Arabel Santos. Ako si Jessel May Libiran. At ako si Juliana Anupol. We discovered the potential of hydroxyl verticillata in controlling alcoholism. Yung school po namin, it has a lot of damp places, so it grows abundantly. Turing lang po kasi sa kanya is like a weed lang. Their experiment showed that after fruit flies ingested the tip kuhol extract, they became more sensitive to alcohol. Their muscle strength and mobility dropped, but retained their memory and learning functions. This plant, the effect of it will have lower tolerance, so there will be lower consumption. Kapag ang tao, kahit konti lang yung inumin niya, makakaroon siya ng imbalance sa movement. It pushes them to stop drinking. Someday, they hope their discovery will be used to manufacture supplementary drugs or maintenance medication. As first-time researchers, the team encountered one challenge after another. We wanted to use an ala asiatica, pero hindi ganon ka abundant yung plant dito. We found other plants in the same family. We're in a province. There is a limited equipment, so we have to travel like 60 miles, which is Manila, during school days and go home at midnight, then attend school at the morning. But these only made their victory sweeter. Their project won one of the top awards during the Department of Education's 2020 National Science and Technology Fair and was among the Philippine entries to the 2020 International Science and Engineering Fair. It feels a bit unreal because we're not really exposed to research. When we found out that our study got chosen, all our hard work, all our efforts, it's not meaningless. To aspiring researchers, their advice is to prepare for hard work, but enjoy the journey while leaving an impact. The first things they should do is find something in their community they would want to improve or change, and then that would be the first step that they should take. And from then on, it will come a bit more naturally na lang po to them. Joining us again, Joining us again is the General Manager of GBF, Ms. Liza Gokongwei Cheng, to confer the GBF Young Scientist Award on our third batch of awardees. We confer the Gokongwei Brothers Foundation Young Scientist Award upon three extraordinary students from Juan R. Liwag Memorial High School, Gapan City. Arabel Santos, Juliana Anupol, and Giselle May Bibiran. Congratulations. Congratulations sa inyo. Grabe, ano? Ang, ang nakakatuwa sa ating batch of awardees ay yung ginagamit nila ng mga, na mga, na, na, na mga ingredients or mga sangkap para sa kanilang mga, sa kanilang mga inventions ay yung galing sa kanilang community, yung galing sa kanilang probinsya. So, it's very inexpensive. Ang galing, 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 galing lang. Congratulations again, Arabel, Juliana, and Giselle of 1R Liwag Memorial High School from Gapan City. Congrats sa inyo. Galing. Now more than ever, the world relies on science for the advancement in healthcare, and we are excited to hear from your research in the future. Now, on to our next two awardees. Cancer has always been a top health adversary for humanity. This killer disease has scientists doing extensive research on curative methods to treat those afflicted with cancer. Prevention of cancer development is the big idea of Ray Vincent Pelayo and Gerardo Rafael Taliador of Iloilo National High School. And the research on lactic acid bacteria derived from the abundant Nipa palm 
has generated excitement in the saying, prevention is better than cure. This is really interesting. Let's listen and watch this. With more than 60,000 cancer deaths recorded, cancer was the second leading cause of death in the Philippines in 2018. Many of Ray's loved ones died of degenerative diseases. This inspired him to study cancer prevention with his best friend Rafi, who comes from a family of doctors. Ako si Ray Pelayo. At ako si Rafael Tayador. We studied the potential of lactic acid bacteria from the nipa palm in preventing degenerative diseases caused by free radicals. Nipa palm is abundant in Iloilo's coastal areas and is often thrown away. We had the idea that, oh yes, we can obtain lactic acid bacteria from Tupa, which is from Nipah. Most cancer research focuses on cure. Ray and Rafi focus their research on studying how to stop the part where cancer develops. There were certain studies that have shown that lactic acid bacteria has antioxidative properties. We wanted to test its DNA protective property in particular. Antioxidants protect cells from free radicals, which is linked to diseases like cancer. Their experiment found that the lactic acid bacteria extracted from nipa palm sap produces antioxidants that neutralizes free radicals. Simply incorporating these microorganisms into actual food, para gumawa ng functional food, can be incorporated into our daily lives as a preventative method. Their project won one of the top awards during the Department of Education's 2020 National Science and Technology Fair and was among the Philippine entries to the 2020 International Science and Engineering Fair. Through this study they did during their last year at Iloilo National High School, Ray and Rafi discovered their love for discovering new knowledge. I'm deeply passionate about my pursuit to knowing things, which is the main reason why I kept on going despite the length and the amount of hardships. I wasn't into research at first. It molded me to become a person uh, who is deeply passionate as a lifelong learner. I want to pursue research and get to the world or to the community. Here is Ms. Liza Y. Gokong Wei Cheng again, General Manager of GBF, to confer the GBF Young Scientist Award on these two fine young gentlemen. Ms. Liza. We confer the Gokong Wei Brothers Foundation Young Scientist Award upon Ray Vincent Pelayo and Gerardo Rafael Taliador of Iloilo National High School. Congratulations. Congratulations, Ray Vincent and Gerardo Rafael of Iloilo National High School. Your story, hindi lang inspiring yung ginawa ninyo, pero inspiring yung buhay ninyo at pagpupursigin ninyo. Doon sa interview ninyo, sabi ninyo, para minsan gusto nyo na mag-give up, pero nagtuloy-tuloy pa rin kayo. So, hanga kami sa inyong persistence para matuloy itong, itong, itong ginawa ninyong innovation na ito. Congratulations again, Ray Vincent and Gerardo Rafael of Iloilo National High School. Now, on to our next two awardees. They believe that water is life and is a natural resource that should be available for everyone. Totoo yan. Sadly, there are rural communities. Marami pong mga komunidad, lalo na sa mga probinsya, na walang access sa potable water due to mineral pollutants. Student researchers Marvin's John Araneta and Lorraine Joy Bales of Iloilo National High School were concerned about water quality in some of their nearby communities and the high cost of water sample, sample testing. Marvin's and Lorraine developed a portable device that detects the presence of mercury and lead in water. Utilizing carbon quantum dots, their prototype won them the top award in DepEd NSTF 2020 Physical Science Team category. Panuarin po natin ito. This, despite modern solutions, access to clean water remains a problem in rural Philippines, even in water-surrounded areas like Iloilo. I come from a not really high-class community, so I see a lot of our neighbors 
sharing well that they had to call uh, delivery trucks to have potable water in their home. We're not sure of how safe and how potable these water are. Ako si Marvin Araneta. At ako si Lorraine Joy Baales. Our research is entitled Endocarbon Quantum Dots Based Selective and Sensitive Floors and Probe Portable in Situ Water Monitoring Prototype Kit for Mercury and Lead. Speaking with concerned government agencies, they found that water monitoring costs a lot, starting at 1,000 pesos per metal per sample. So they built a portable water monitoring kit using carbon quantum dots with less than 1,000 pesos and an old smartphone. Carbon quantum dot has the capability to fluoresce, so it emits light. Yung light ay nagbid dim, depending on the amount of heavy metals present. The device can detect as low as one part per billion or half a teaspoon of lead or mercury in an Olympic-sized pool. Through color signals red, green, and blue, the prototype can also specify the kind of metal. Statement will cost a lot. You have to make sure first that my problem talaga in area. So, ganun ka important as well in detection. Their project, done in their senior year at Iloilo National High School, won one of the top awards during the Department of Education's 2020 National Science and Technology Fair. And was among the Philippines' entries to the 2020 International Science and Engineering Fair. Compact and affordable, they hope this can be used in far-flung areas where labs are inaccessible. Just like a small box. And in terms of electricity, this device just used a power bank or even some sort of small batteries. As young researchers, they believe this marks the first step of being a champion of climate change and protecting the environment. Doing research in the pursuit of helping people is a noble cause. The individual who is likely to manage the, the future world is going to be us. So by starting from a young age, we need to be able to establish them. What is the ideal world we ought to live? And here to confirm the confer the GBF Young Scientist Award on our two awardees, let's call on call in Ms. Liza Gohongwei Cheng, General Manager of GBF. We'd like to call on Ms. Liza to confer the GBF Young Scientist Award on uh, Marvin's and Lorraine. Um, can you, I'm, um, hold on, sorry. Uh, we confer, okay. We confer the Gokhume Brothers Foundation Yan Scientist Award upon Marvin's John Araneta and Lorraine Joy Bales of Iloilo National High School. Congratulations, congratulations. Congratulations, Marvin's John Araneta and Lorraine Joy Bales of Iloilo National High School. Alam mo, alam niyo Marvin's tsaka Lorraine, malapit sa puso ko yung ginawa ninyo kasi ang dami ko ng documentaries na ginawa tungkol sa mga waterless communities in our country. If I'm not mistaken, more than 400 ang municipalities, hindi barangay ha, municipalities in the Philippines ang talagang walang access sa potable water. So, ang laking ambag ng ginawa ninyong ito. Congratulations again sa inyo, Marvin's John Araneta and Lorraine Joy Bales of Iloilo National High School. Galing! And now for our final YSA awardee this morning, Marian Ledesma of Negros Occidental National Science High School found two things close to her heart while doing her research in Iloilo. A stronger bond with her father, who was her research study chap chaperone, and the passionate drive to look for better water purification solutions. Here's what she has to say. Watch this. Marian used to enjoy seeing the seashell Balisala in rivers during road trips with her father. Balisala is a local delicacy in Negros Occidental, but it has disappeared over time. This moved Marian to study how to preserve life in bodies of water 
like rivers, which are often threatened by pollution. Ako si Marian Ladasma. So yung research ko po, tungkol siya sa EDTA MGO. This EDTA MGO is used as an adsorbent for methylene blue in water. Yung sugarcane field, sometimes the runoff from fertilizers, these are organic pollutants and they usually end up in the rivers. EDTA MGO is a nanoadsorbent that comes from graphite. Previous study used it to remove mercury and lead from water. Marian studied its potential use on organic pollutants by testing it with methylene blue, a compound often discharged from factories to bodies of water. The adsorbent, at a certain amount, was able to remove almost all of the methylene blue. So if it can remove that, it should be able to remove other types of organic pollutants. At the MGO's magnetic property, makes it easy to retrieve it from water. This can limit possible water damage from unretrieved adsorbents. Marian did the study in her final year at Negros Occidental National Science High School, where she spent six years of school away from home and living in a dorm. This research let her spend time with her father. I'm in Bacolod and then I had to conduct my research in Iloilo. It's dad that was the chaperone through the whole journey. I think our bond, our relationship has grown. This was definitely a bonding experience with my father. Her project won one of the top awards during the Department of Education's 2020 National Science and Technology Fair and was among the Philippine entries to the 2020 International Science and Engineering Fair. She hopes to inspire other researchers to build on her discovery. For the bigger picture in Negros Occidental, I would really love for EDTA MGO to be used as part of the water purification system of the many sugar mills found in my province. Here is Ms. Liza Gokowei-Cheng, General Manager of GBF, who will now confirm the GBF YSA on our awardee, Ms. Marian Ledesma. We confer the Gokowei Brothers Foundation, Yan Scientist Award, upon Marian Ledesma of Negros Occidental National Science High School. Congratulations, Marian. Congratulations again to Marian Ledesma of Negros Occidental National Science High School. Congratulations din kay Tatay. Grabe. Grabe ah, ibang klase rin yung father mo. At saka actually while watching your video kanina, medyo naiyak ako ng konti kasi ito yung talagang pagmamahal ng magulang sa anak, yung talagang kasama siya from start to finish para lang makamit mo yung iyong mga pangarap. The love and support of your family is as sweet as your determination to ensure the future of our waterways and for marine life to thrive. Congratulations again, Marian. Congratulations to all the GBF Young Scientist Awardees for 2020. Ang galing, 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 galing ninyo. And as something to acknowledge and honor all of you, please watch this video. Pinabati ng pamalakaya ang ating makabayang kabatang dito na si Franklin Rason. Uh, umaasa kami na ito ay magiging matagumpay at magsilbi sa kapangalan ng mga mga isla sa buong bansa. Ituloy-tuloy ang science and technology for the people. Uh, mabuhay ka Franklin sa dikain mo magsilbi sa bayan. Pagbati sa pangkatabante kina Chloe, Adoniram at Thea ng Kaloocan National Science and Technology High School sa inyong matagumpay na likha. Ang abante ay isang mahalagang ambag na nagdadagdag ng sapin ng kaligtasan sa ating mga rider na umaharap sa mga panganib sa ating mga lansangan sa araw-araw. Bilang mga batang siyentista, naway patuloy kayong lumikha at tumuklas para sa ating mga kapwa, para sa ating lipunan. Congratulations, Lorraine and Marvins, from me, Mary Rosales. As a social anthropologist, I can confirm that your portable water monitoring device applies not only to the rural poor, but also to urban informal communities. So now, encourage the mass production of your remarkable invention to make it available to millions of needy families. Thank you for your creativity and passion to help disadvantaged people. 
Congratulations po, Kuya Ri at Kuya Rafi, for your amazing achievement. Your work on antioxidants that neutralize free radicals will help many Filipino lives. What you did was very inspirational because you are still at a young age and you were able to do something big because of your passion to do research. All the best to your future projects and I am sure you will do great things. Mabuhay po kayo. Mainit ako na na kami bulahan sa kadalagaan sa atun mga ilonggo yang scientists. Natanday do rin Marvins, Ray, and Rafael sa Iloilo National High School. Sa lang haro ng edad, nangimbukal ka mo sa mga ilonggo. Kabayan na hindi yung achievement, makahata sa inyo sa dugang na encouragement. Ang kadalagaan nyo, kadalagaan sa tanah, na binagid sa mga fellow ilonggos. Truly, you are a blessing to us all. Congratulations! Let's give God the glory for you. Hi, I'm Jessie DeGrano from WeTech Manila, and I want to congratulate you, Arabelle, Juliana, and Jessel on your research. We're so happy to see young Filipino scientists, especially women, who are making a change for the Filipino people. I hope you know that there are teams such as WeTech and the Gokong Way Brothers Foundation that will always be supporting you. I wish you luck on your STEM journeys, and again, congratulations to all of you. Hey there, Marian. I am Sia, the National Coordinator of YATAP, and I'd like to congratulate you for a job well done on your research. And we'd also like to thank you for pushing forward science that truly serves the people. I hope you continue this path of service through your technology, and I wish you all the best in your studies and in all your future endeavors. Grabe! Grabe! Congratulations sa lahat ng ating GBF Young Scientist Awardees for 2020. Napakahusay at napaka-inspiring ng inyong mga nakamit. Tingnan nyo naman, ano, talagang imagine you're, you're, you're so young, uh, high school lang yung marami sa inyo, pero tingnan mo naman, tingnan nyo naman, talagang hinahangaan kayo ng, ng mga institusyon sa lipunan. Maraming salamat sa inyo at congratulations ulit.